Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of friendship. This is a card of celebrations. This is a card of being in good spirits, socializing, um, feeling good about something. You could be receiving some sort of good news that's um, helping you feel uplifted in your mood. There could also be an energy of you've got a lot of support around you. This can be friends, family, loved ones. It can also be divine support. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the five of wands in the reverse, and this is fire energy. We have the three of pentacles, earth energy, and we have the six of pentacles, earth energy. So there is an energy here of collaboration, teamwork, um, getting on the same page as someone. Um, it's like there's some sort of mutual cooperation. Um, you could be establishing a truce with someone who you had some sort of conflict with in the past. With the Five of Wands being in the reverse, it is a card showing coming out of conflict, moving on from conflict. And the Three of Cups is showing being in a good place. There's some sort of truce that has been achieved here. And you guys are, you know, making up. There's an energy of you know being on the same team with that three of pentacles and working together to rebuild something or to fix something to make a foundation more solid especially because we have the six of pentacles there which is a card of giving to a situation equal give and take it's like both people want the same thing here and we're working as a team to make sure that the connection is stable and has a solid foundation building something long lasting so let's clarify these cards gemini Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So there is, again, that card of conflict. So there could have been some sort of conflict. This could also be showing that there's a lot of influence when it comes to this connection. This can be outside influence. If this is a workplace romance, there could, again, be people, um, you know, opposing the connection in some way, or there's just a lot of outside interference here. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, the Page of Swords, Air Energy, and we have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. So there's some sort of communication, a desire to heal some sort of conflicts within this connection. And I do see someone wanting to speak their truth to put an end to conflict or to put an end to outside interference. If people outside this connection have too much of a say and it's impacting the connection negatively, I do see someone speaking up and um, you know, with the goal of putting this behind you guys. Uh, with the Page of Swords, I do see again a lot of communication, um, a lot of learning and studying about how we can work together as a team because the Temperance also shows um, compromise, um, finding a happy medium where both people feel um, like their needs are being met. It's a win-win kind of outcome and taking a gentler approach here, working together as a team instead of prioritizing one's own needs over the other. So I do see you guys coming into a more balanced, harmonious place in this connection and some sort of conflict is being um, resolved here because someone is choosing to speak up and stand up against that. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, 
Aquarius. So the card says you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. So I do see some sort of uh, truce being established here. This can be even making peace with your loved ones or whoever this outside interference is. There's an energy of resolving conflict and coming into a truce, a place of truce, um, forgiveness as well, taking a softer approach here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Gemini. So the card says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So I do see you and this person coming into a more balanced place. This is a connection that is harmonious, divine. With the temperance being here, there's a very angelic energy over this connection. Um, I also do see with the three of pentacles that this is going to be a long lasting kind of relationship. There's an energy here of being together for the long haul. And with the soulmate energy, I'm seeing again, it's like um, there's this feeling here of having a strong connection and being on each other's team, um, reestablishing some sort of compatibility. This is a connection that's worth fighting for. And I'm seeing both people fighting for it. Okay, so, um, and also with the Five of Wands and the Three of Cups, there could be a merging of families or um, friendship, friend groups. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you, Gemini. So the card says victory and conquest. He who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. So I'm seeing this connection is coming into a very harmonious place. Um, there, it's like the intimacy is deepening and also just being on each other's team, um, having some sort of balance here, um, connecting um, from a very spiritual place as well. There's an energy of being victorious over some sort of conflict or challenge in this connection. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.